Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be going over five more tools and accessories that are on my bench. And uh, this is a continuation of the four that I did last week. And uh, I have so many of these things, I figured I'd do a series of these and uh, put them together in a video, a little compilation. Um, we have more, but a different color, of the uh, color test cards for your paint. I have the Flash Master uh, Ultra Thin uh, Flash Removing Blades, and uh, we're going to put those in this uh, Tamiya, Tamiya handle, which uh, I happen to have a spare of. I have the Showtime Hobby Display. This is a display for uh, your cars, but you can also put your Gumpla on there, but I have a lot of cars. And this has a mirror, so you can see the underneath of the car, so we'll assemble that on camera. I have these uh, brass um, stencils, different types, uh, kind of like uh, a marbling camouflage. Uh, I'm going to use it differently, even though I do have some military kits. I'm going to go ahead and do it, uh, I'm going to do a marbling effect using that. And uh, there's all kinds of twos from, I happen to have just this one here. They come in a multi-pack too. Uh, and finally, I have a got, oops, I have this God Hand, which I've wanted for a while, but I didn't want to drop the 50 bucks at these costs. These are a spin mold. They put a perfect circle anywhere on your uh, Gumpler or any other kit, really. And um, uh, always wanted this. We're going to be testing this. And uh, in particular, they're not just flat. They happen to have a little bit of a needle hole that helps you guide it and keep it in place. With some of the other ones you have to you know, play around with. And to go with that, I also happen to have, maybe we can call this a five and a half, a dead center drill starter. I got this from uh, Scale Pro Shop. They're really cheap. I think it was under 10 bucks and with shipping. So yeah, it's a fine little point where you can start where you want the drill to go. And uh, maybe we'll do that with these. So I've been sitting on that for a little while, so we'll throw that into the test too. You're going to need a pin vise for these. And I do like this uh, Tamiya pin vise, and I'll show you why in a minute. But anyway, let's start off here. Let's get this out of the way. And these are the test cards. Now you saw previously the uh, one I did here. Let's show that first, why not? This one is black and white type A. And the ones I just got in are type B. Uh, what you got here is a black. I'll show you on camera, I guess. Hold on one second. There you go. It's black and white. And then up here you put what the paint is. I'm working on printing um, labels for my paints before I go ahead and start doing it. And there it is. I took this metal pink and just sprayed across. And then you can get to see what it looks like over black and over white. Now this, let's put this back. And it comes with a key ring. I'll show you that in the new one. We'll unbox that. Sorry, but guys, I hit the camera again. All right, and here we have the same thing. Actually, let's open this up. Let's open this up, guys. Real time here. We do everything in real time. There we go. I have this Bandai uh, entry level, or it's there. There it is. Let's see. Build up nipper, but I use it for stuff like this. I don't really use it. Or if I'm going to cut the uh, the big part of the sprue, I use these, and then I go in with my uh, more expensive nippers to get close. Anyway, let's open this up. And I'll show you guys what we have here. It's just like the other one. You got the index cards. See them? So you can label them if you want and break them down. Say metallics, opaques, and uh, like that. And there you go. There's the test card. Now there's the hole, the hole punch in the corner. Comes with the key ring that holds all of it. Big one. Look at that. And there it is. Now this is pink primer and gray. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the exact same paint that I painted on uh, test card A. And we'll uh, take one out right there. And we'll see what it looks like. Let's put the rest of it away on uh, test card B. So we'll put these back in. I think there's 72 cards in here, which is a good amount, actually. Um, for me, I really need it. I'll tell you that. Um, one of my uh, viewers asked if he could see the room. So right after... Uh, we get this prepped. I am going to go ahead 
and show the room in about one minute. But we'll start with this. I will use my, why not, we'll use my Grex. It's a 0.3 millimeter needle. We'll use that. And then when I show uh, my um, stencils, we're going to use a different airbrush. Anyway, um, before we go ahead and spray this, this is direct, ready to spray out of the bottle. I'm actually working on a test of Hobby Mio paints. More, I got more colors in from them I've been waiting for, so that's coming up. Yeah, this we're just going to pour right into the airbrush, and we're going to paint it over this, and we'll see how that looks against the rest. Um, right now, I'm going to unplug the camera, show the room to, uh, I guess it's kind of updated, seeing that I've gotten so many more paints since. So uh, let's go on the ride here before we hit the booth. I'm going to take you out of the phone mount, the uh, camera mount, and there is the wall to my immediate right. Let's see if I can pan out a little bit for you. There you go. And uh, I just removed these here and put them in here. It's this Mr. Hobby. Again, this wasn't cheap either. It was like 50 bucks for this little thing, but it holds everything so per perfectly. And I got them in order numbered this way. And uh, that's what that is. And you can attach more on top. There's a groove here. So you can have a full stack. And actually, tall like that is great. It really gives you a lot more room. Those were all along here and up here. I took them all down and put them in there. All that fit in that. I think it's 50 or 60 fit in there. So how great is that? Um, everything sitting here you see is either going on the wall or I'm going to be testing. I'm working on this SMS test right now. These are Turbo Dork new colors which just came in. Ultra varnish flat. You just saw I posted that. That's I'm waiting for the uh, Vallejo to compare it to. That's coming up. I'm working on a scriber tool test where all different types of scriber gadgets and uh, see it? little templates. We're going to be working on that. Here's a Vallejo, a Vallejo, however you say it, a metal test that's coming. Uh, also coming in, it's going to this corner. I have the third box set from Space Dust, Galaxy Dust. Uh, I got the third one, not sure what it's called, but that's coming in. I think it's coming in tomorrow, so I'll be testing finally all three of those. Here's my Gaia Notes collection. In the back is my, uh, can you see it? The uh, Evangelion paints lineup. These are so hard to come by. I don't even want to test them because you can't get them. So I don't even want to test them on camera. Here's my uh, AK 3rd Gen uh, Ammo by Meg and the uh, Mecca, Mecca paints by uh, Vallejo. This is, how's that, huh? Metallic orange. That's what I'm starting to test now. To, right there, metal from Ammo. And that's all. I mean, let's go around the corner here so you can kind of see it all. I'm not going to go with a full tour here. Um, I just got these lights installed here. All my spray paints up here. I almost have a full collection of Tamiya spray cans. And uh, here's all the jump winds in order. Here's the Hobby Mios just coming in. So I'm starting to get those organized. Here's the old uh, Model Masters. The display paints across the back and over here. Here's my E7 collection. I haven't tested them yet. I just started uh, testing them to see how they go. Here's my Tamiya's. Here's all my metal paints, Extreme AK, and uh, below here are my thinners. Look at that. Those are all my thinners. Can you see my lights? I just installed these lights that go under here so I can light up underneath. These are my thinners. These are my spray primers. And in the corner, I have a spin of my almost a full collection of Wicked paints. That's coming up very soon, the candy paint test from them. There's their primers under there. Uh, here's my personal collection, my uh, Mecha Empire lineup. These are my lacquers my lacquers. Uh, up here is the uh, AOK -OK Silver Oaks. Every one in that collection up here is all clear coats. In the back is some old tester sprays. I got some up here too. This is their, their metalizers in the spray can. Very rare. This test is coming up too. I'm going to test the, the uh, Mr. Hobby spray cans, which I haven't tested yet. And that's all. And uh, here's my little unit I keep on a stand. And I have all my stuff in here. Paints I haven't or have tested. Here's my collection of Mecha Empire on the bottom. And I got this beautiful rolling cart here I just added to the room. So I'm going to put all my spoons and whatnot. Here's my mask. And here's the paste spray booth right there. There's the lighting I put in for when I'm uh, filming. There's my two compressors, my Tootie, and the Fortress. And there's my kits that are in this room. 
little bit of silence here as we seal the kit. So I got some in the here. Is my car collection part of it? Anyway, here's all my early Gumpla kits I've collected. There's some in the here. High res kits, which are kind of rare, huh? To find those high res kits now. And there you go. That's the room. I have other stuff in the other room, but uh, maybe we'll save that for Patreon. Anyway, let me lock you guys back in here. All right, we're back. All right, I'm going to load this up into the Grex airbrush. We're going to try it over this card, and we're going to move across the board here and test all these uh, new tools out. We'll see you at the booth, and let's see how it looks. All right, guys, here we are at my Pace spray booth. Metal pink, 125, Hobby Meal, really nice color. Into, straight up from the jar, into the cup. With my Grex, very comfortable airbrush. I do like this airbrush. Here we go. Wow, this airbrush does like this paint. It lays it down nice. Wow. I think that's it. Well, we can go compare it to, uh, to the black and the gray one. I mean the black and white one, right? Beautiful. Wow. All right. That's, that's it. Let's go compare it. All right. Here we are. Back at the bench. And there we go. See if I can catch it in the light. Look at that. Uh, that goes on like glass. Wow, does that spray good. Um, all right, let's compare it. This is black, white. This is pink. And this is gray. Oh, yeah. Look what the pink does. It brought it out tough in the light. It kind of... Oh, there you go. You can see it now. Yep, the gray, much different from the black, obviously. But the pink gives it a lot of depth. If you want to have the pink look, pink primer is the way to go. Look at that. Just a little more depth to it. But yeah, look how unique. Now, you can put them both together and label it as such. Or you can leave it completely separated on your, uh, your keychain. How are you going to do it? But uh, unfortunately, you guys really like these. And these sold out really fast. But I have other brands coming in we're going to test. I got some on eBay. I got some from another distributor, so we'll see uh, um, how the other brand holds up. And if it's a good alternative, then at least you'll have a backup, because it seems to take a long time to get some of this stuff back in stock once it's gone. But yeah, I do like this. I mean, I know it was going to perform, but I just wanted to see the color difference. Look at how good it sprays on it. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's go on to our next test, and that will be the Flash Master Blades. Now, they're really not going to get into uh, too much of cleaning kits off. But what we're going to do is how they advertise it. And that is, it shows it removing. See these little numbers here? That's why I took this plate off. See the RX78144? It shows it so thin, it removes the four. And the one it can take the letters right off of these uh, sprues and runners. See the, see the number four here and one? It says you can peel them right off, and that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead. We're going to use this Tamiya Craft Tools because I have a bunch of these, but this one happened to have no blade in it. It's a single slot right there, which is what these are. So let's go ahead, pick one out. And these are really paper thin. I looked at them quick. Try not to cut myself. There we go. Right, let's lay that down right there. Cap this up. All right. Oh boy, look at this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scoot this off of this. <laughs> you be careful when you pick it up. It is, I got to say, I think it's thinner than paper. Look at this. Wow, that is flexible. So I imagine I want to get it as level as I can. So let's start to tighten this up. I want to get it level like that. Vertically perfect. See it? That looks good. And then just sink it in. Yeah. Here we go. This little nub on the uh, handle is so it doesn't roll off the bench. It starts to roll and then it hits it, which is a really good feature. Most should have that. Now, I don't know how I'm going to be able to zoom this in. Let's try this. There we go. We'll come down here. All in real time, guys. Real time. 
Don't want to get you sick. That we don't want. All right, let me see if we can do this. All right, we're going to try and peel off a number or a letter here. Again, let's go back in and get my uh, little nipper here. I'm trying to get a weird shape one like this number four. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got. I guess you can actually bend. Yeah, see? Let me show you what you can do with it. I'm getting something we can put it against. Watch this. See it? Boy, that is flexible. So I can see what they mean if you want to get into little tight spots. Uh, a lot of times my car kits... Let me reach for... On the inside, they'll have a big sprue mark in here. And then to go to get it, you can see that the roof is bent. And I end up, you know, coming from this side and trying to carve it off. But I can see now that this will bend to the shape of the roof. I can get that trimmed off without using my Dremel tool, which I have to half the time. Let's go ahead and see if we can take this number four off. Bear with me, guys. I think I'm getting it. Look at this. Look at the four. It's right there. It just came off. It did it. Hold on. This is m m microscopic to show you. Look, I took the four off. <laughs> it's a little bent, but I did. It took the number right off. That is awesome. Uh, let's see if we can, I don't know if I can show it better than that. Let's try it on this gray one here. Let's see. Wow. And you, I can kind of get in here. Oh, it so happens to be another four, too. So let's see. Lucky number four. Yeah, see, it's digging in. You got to get it on a certain... Oh, boy, here we go. Nope, number one is gone. Oops. Sorry, guys. See it? There's number one. Oh, it's on my hand. <laughs> yeah, it works. It really... It, it's uh It is a nice, fine knife blade, and uh, I'm kind of impressed. Let's try to do one more. Let's do number eight here. Such a good demo. I'll have the links for all these tools in the description, guys. That's it. The eight flew off my finger. Look at it. <laughs> There's the eight. Crazy eight. Wow. And there's still some here, so I guess I can come in and even trim it down even further. I'm so used to my blades being shaped like this. But to get the job done, I guess it's got to go straight like this. Straight. Yeah, and it, it'll... Uh, you know, let me keep trying to trim it right off. Oh, yeah. It took it right off. I mean, what if I could... No, it's not strong enough to do the scraping. But look, the 8 is gone completely. I removed it. So, uh, yeah, thumbs up for these. This is a big thumb up. This is a nice product to have on your bench. I'm trying to get this number 8 here so I can put it in the screen. Here we go. 8. <laughs> it's, like, it's thinner than paper. There's the 8. Oh, my goodness. Anyway. All right. Let me pause the camera and I'll go back... Uh, to the bench uh the pan out version here <laughs> uh great tool uh, one second we're back guys we panned it up and panned it out uh yeah this is a winner i want to show you that with the to me it comes with a cap and uh it actually fits the blade nice look at that it doesn't hit the top so i will leave that in there and uh well there you go flashmasterhobby.com but i will put the links below uh good product real good product they're kind of local i think they're out of plymouth mass the state over from me and i spent years of my life delivering to plymouth mass years the last five years uh leading up to the pandemic and then uh i was you know sent home during the pandemic and never went back but uh the five years up until the pandemic i delivered every day monday through friday to plymouth massachusetts and uh it was a haul. 220 miles a day on my car. It killed my car. 125,000 miles on my Hyundai, which I bought when I started the job. Uh, okay, let's look at this uh, display stand for the car kits or any other kit you want to put on it. But it's advertised as a car because it's scale motorsport. They make a bunch of products to enhance your car building. Let's get this out of the way. It comes in three styles, the tilted the straight up and down, which I believe is this one. And this is the one I really wanted, but it was out of stock. It's straight 
the car sits straight, but the mirror is tilted. So when you look straight on, you see the under chassis without having to really look down on it. But for now, we got this one, but this is the one I really wanted. I guess it's skew, oh, item number 1254. Uh, it's been a few months, so I'm going to check and see if these are in stock. But I really wanted that particular version. But let's go ahead and, uh, oh, look at this. It's a rubber band. That's pretty cool. Look at that. I like that. Uh, this is all glass, guys. This is no plastic. Um, I think these are in the $20 range. And uh, I can see why. It's all glass. Oh, that's the mirror. Look at that. A real mirror. Mirror. I got that New England accent going. With the Italian accent thrown in. And it gets pretty heavy. All right, here we go. Looks like I got a do this together so let's go ahead and put in the space here get the glass for the top uh, do it with gloves on or else you're gonna be uh, using some Windex for sure all right here we go let's stand it up oh I lost both of them let's do it standing up it's probably easier yep there's one there's one. Oh yeah there we go should lock right in Look at that. All right, let me see. Let me get one of my kits up here. Let me get my Z kit. I love Z cars. Any Z fans out there? I'm thinking of getting one uh, this particular year. Well, 91 is what I'm looking for. I think I might go all out and get one. I'm not sure yet. I'm in the middle of looking for my motorcycle that was repossessed years ago in my youth. Here we go, guys. I'm uh, carrying on here. Look at that. And there it is. Check that out. You can see the underneath. Now, before I used to have to hold it, hold the hood on to show people the uh, undercarriage. But no, check that out. And this will look really, really good on a shelf, too. And I got a bunch of them, so I'm going to put a bunch in a row. And um, and I, like I said, if the other one was tilted, uh, the camera's looking down, you can see it. But you can look, if I put it on a shelf eye level, you can still see the under chassis, which is uh, the effect I was looking for. But uh, isn't that nice? Now, they sell uh, car cases my hobby lobby has a ton of them but most most hobby shops have those plastic cases and i got some here in the storage i guess if it fit perfect around here you got a beautiful display it's all protected from dust and you can see the underneath without having to pick it up and uh, some of those come with a cardboard mirror which looks awful this is high quality all glass all around really really nice really classes up the shelf space um yeah anyway that's a good one uh, I'll have a link below for that too. Um, for you car builders out there, I love my car models. Uh, that's what I got started on when I was younger. And that's what my dad was too. And he shifted over to ships. And uh, but I do mostly cars, modern aircraft, and uh, Gundam. All right, guys, let me pause the camera. Let me get this out of the way. Move on to the next tool. All right, guys, here we are back. We're going to move on to the next. I, put, I told you I had like four of these in my inventory. And uh, what I did was... I just moved the, see, it's still here. I just moved it out of the way just so you guys can see all the new tools and accessories and supplies up here. I put one in its place. All right, next up is the stencil from Ammo by MIG. All right, these are brass stencils. I guess there's all kinds out there. You don't have to buy them by this brand, but I happen to have this brand. So this is the one we're going to try. Oh, there they are. They fell right out. Anything in here? Nope. And there they are. They got different style. Really, really fine. You know, not so fine, I guess. And there we go. That's pretty open. And all you got to do... Oh, these are actually coated in a plastic. Let's peel that off. Oh, just had it. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Don't want to bend that too much. There we go. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it on here. I'm going to spray some uh, silver. Oh, we lost our bottle here from All Clad. Check out my keychain I got from uh, Gaia. That's one of those uh, gotcha machines there. In, uh, was it Gochafon machines? I can't think of the name. My wife knows. That's one of those in the Japan, the little toys you get. So I'm going to spray. We'll do both of these. And um, we're going to put, uh, I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do clear over this silver. The silver is going to go through this. That's going to be the base. So I'm going to do some, a, 
tripping over my words. We're going to do kind of a uh, candy marble, right? That's what we're going to do using these. So we'll pick that one, right? We'll put this out of the way. So for the base, we're going to spray using this now will be bright silver candy base. And I just grabbed this off the wall and we'll go with uh, orange from All Clad. So we're going to use their silver base and their clear candy over it. Let's head over to the booth. And uh, what do I use? Should I use this? I'm trying to think what I'm going to use for the uh, for the silver. I think I'll use my Harder and Steinbeck because that's got my fine needle in it. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Well, let's head over to the booth and we'll see how this works. All right, guys. Here we are at the booth. I used some painter's tape and taped them down. I used two of them. This is shiny. I want to see if it makes a difference. So we're going to do it on two different bases. Uh, straight out of the jar, this is the bright silver candy base. There we go. This is my uh, Otter and Steinbeck Evolution. Let's see what we got. Hold on, guys. Let me go turn up the air pressure. One second. I got it, guys. It was turned off. I couldn't tell. And it was slowly dying of air. So I let it charge up before I unpaused it. Here we go. You can get it nice and close with this. And what it is, is we're going to uh, cover it up. I could have even went heavy with this because we're not uh, going for that high-end uh, chrome look. We can load this right up. But the effect is going to be really cool, you'll see. But you can also of course, use this for its intended purpose, and that is uh, a camo for your military kits. Okay, now we have the old 2D coming on. All right, I'll finish that off. I'm gonna put these in the uh, dehydrator. So I can dry them because we're going to go right in and put the uh, candy orange over it. So let me put these in the dryer. You'll see me right back at the booth in about five minutes. All right, here we go. Big experiment here. Look at that. Nice and even. Here's the shiny one. It looks like it doesn't matter. So uh, we're going ahead straight from the jar. Candy orange by All Clad. This is an enamel. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at this. Can you imagine a whole uh, Gumpla kit like this? Oh, awesome. Look at that. An experiment that worked. I don't know if I can do this because it's pretty flexible though. This shiny black one is really flexible. So let's see. Yeah, it should go. I've got to put my gloves on. And they're right behind me. Ah, there we go. Oh, look at that. I mean, to have all of that on a kit would be just awesome. All right, guys, let me clean out the brush. We'll look at the results back at the bench. We'll see you there. All right, back at the bench. Here we are. This is the uh, ammo stencils brass stencils you can see how they ended up here with the candy silver over it and there it is look at that that's awesome now, I guess it really didn't matter um, the gloss black plastic you know I didn't know but yeah they came out the same isn't that awesome I think that's a great effect but you don't even have to do that you can use desert sand color and you know, just put it over your tank kits or aircraft, whatever you're doing, buildings, if you're doing military stuff. For me, I would use it on this different, I use everything <laughs> for its unintended purpose. But yeah, those are awesome. And there's all kinds of styles to choose from. This is just one that I had chosen because I wanted to get more of a marbling look. You know, it's not too marble look, but uh, kind of close. Anyway, 
uh, yeah, that's another one. And uh, I do like it. Now, the last one we're going to be testing is the uh, God Hand Spin Mold. Alright. And uh, this is a certain one. This has the little pin, the starter pin. Uh, you can see it right there. See it? That's the difference on this and their other set. The other one is kind of... you. You hope you get what you want it. Where this one, I think that's why they cost almost twenty dollars more uh, than their other one. We're gonna put a hole in this right here. I drill a little circle anyway. We'll use my dead center piece here. So let me get this out. I gotta get this closer to me so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Here it is. That's it. This is just a starter pin. Uh, do we go large here? Let's go. I think we should go with the largest one, right? Let me show you why I like this. I said I was going to show you this Tamiya pin vise. Because the chuck here is universal. If it's a small, which this one isn't, you can see this is a fatter. I don't know what the millimeters are on it. That would not fit in here at all. But you flip it around, and there it is. There's the larger one. So you flip it over, put it back in. And that's why I like this one. I'm sure some other brand does the same thing. But uh, let's go middle of the road. We'll do almost to the largest one here. Ah, cinch that in. Now you get this little pointer. You see where you want it to go. Hold on, guys. Let's get you closer to the action here. All right. And this won't be exact. I just want to see if this little tool works because I haven't tried it yet. That's it. Just a little spin. You can see a little divot that I put. Oh, there it is. And here we go. All right. I'm going to line this up, guys. It's a little tricky. Yep, I got it. And I'll try and do this so you guys can see it good. What if I should go back and forth? Trying to get a good grip. There we go. Oh, it's digging in nice. Now there's a point, I guess, where you gotta figure you gotta stop, you know? You gotta break out your toothbrush. Alright, look at that. Dug it up. Oh, I can see it already. It looks awesome. Get that off. Alright, I'm gonna take it off the sprue here. Here we go. Oh, look at this, guys. Perfect circle. All the dust here. But look at... Oh, man. Just what I wanted. That is awesome. Now, they sell little rivets. Actual metal rivet tops. And I guess I can... That's what they're for. You put these little holes in and you drop these rivet tops in. They're smooth. And you have little steel, you know, highlights and details on your kit. Or you can leave it just like this and put a... You will leave it blank or put some panel lining in it. You know, right across here, you got a panel line right in there. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. I guess you can get the smaller one, and you can do like two or three in a row. That is a great tool. I guess that's why they get the good money. Their tools work, and they work every time. Look at that. It just dug right in. Is this uh, titanium like the other ones, or tungsten? Is that what it is, tungsten? You can see it's got the colors. Wow, it is awesome. One, two, three, four, five blades to choose from. And I am impressed. Now, they also say what you can do is you go with their biggest one, and then you put a smaller one in it, and you get like a multi-tier. Let me pause the camera, and let's try that before we wrap this up. All right, guys, we are back. I went and got another piece here. Let's go ahead and take out this one. Put in the biggest one they have, which is this. Shaft part should be the same size. It is. I already put my dot hole in it off camera. You can see it right there. So let's go ahead. This is the biggest one they have. All right. I'm trying to leave it so you guys. There we go. Here we go. Probably would have been better on a flatter surface, but hey, this is what I got. All right. I'm not going to go all the way because uh, we're going to double up on it. Let's go ahead and clean it off. 
There we go. There it is. Now let's go ahead and get a smaller one. All right, and we'll make it a double layered, so to speak, a uh, little hole there. Get these little dust on everything. Now it's already gonna have its hole already in there, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it went right through. Look at this guy, it went right through. So I went too far, but uh, let's try it with this. See, this is thin plastic, that's the problem. Uh, I might have room on this one, let's try this. Oh yeah, see once, once it's gone in, it's uh, it seems to cut the plastic a little easier, and you can look in the back. It's not coming through yet, and then you get a multi-tiered. It's hard to see on camera. There it is, and I think some guys countersink their uh, rivets. They actually go into the hole twice, and that's what they do. But anyway, uh, I really do like this gadget quite a bit. This one I do like, uh, as they all performed as they should have. Um, I waited a long time for this, and I'm just, I'm glad it performed as good as it did. And there's extra room in here because I think they sell other sizes. I'm going to have to go ahead and look into that. And the sizes are labeled on each one. There it is. Oh, oh I'm blocking it. There it is. See it? 3.0. So let's put that in. And him in here. There we go. Oh, there they are. They're labeled. And there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful tool. Very impressive. 50 bucks it better have been, but uh, they can make a kit really look extra good. Let me fix the camera and we'll wrap this up. All right, guys, camera's back up. There you go. There's a few more gadgets, five of them this time. We tested once again a different color of the uh, test cards. The Flashmaster Blade, uh, very impressive. Worked as should. Uh, this display stand for my car kits, beautiful. The uh, the stencils, I did candy with this one so you guys can see it. Brass stencils, that worked. And the God Hands uh, spin molds, these really performed well. Uh, high quality results. Fantastic. And um, yeah, there you go. That's another batch. I have even more to go. Uh, I'm just doing them four or five at a time. So uh, as you can see the video, it takes a while to go through them. I don't like to edit. I like to do everything in real time. And... Um, that's what I did. Anyway, guys, I will put links to everything below. If you haven't already considered it, consider my Patreon. I'll leave a link below to that where I answer your questions personally in video form. And um, I want to thank all my patrons so far. I'm going to have a roll of your guys' names at the end of the credits really soon. We're working on that now. And, uh, yeah, I will have a link for everything else below. And uh, thanks, guys, for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you towards the end of the week with another video.